we'll get started. I'm just going to do some palpation of the head. Make sure there's no masses or abnormalities that I'm noticing. I just feel a little pressure here. Okay, good. Seems symmetric, there's no, I'm just gonna take a peek at the back here. No atypical hair patterns or hair distributions. I don't see any evidence of dander or any trouble with the scalp. Things have been going okay there for you? Good, good. Good. Those are the frontal sinuses. Let's check those maxillary sinuses now. Good. No tenderness there? Excellent. And you don't sound congested, so that is reassuring as well. I'm gonna go ahead and stand up here. Okay, and just relax. I'm just palpating around your head here. <clears throat> Good. So normal hair distribution. Good. And I don't feel any swelling here. No ecchymosis behind the ears, that's a good thing. It'd be concerning for a basal or skull fracture or damage to the skull. They don't feel any depression, so everything here is checking out. Okay, very good. I'm going to go ahead and start with palpation of the abdomen. Is that okay? Great, okay. What we're gonna do is actually a percussion first here. So you'll just feel some pressure or a, kind of a sensation of me tapping on your abdomen. Here we are. Excellent. What you'll feel now is some light to deep palpation. We'll go in each quadrant. Now, where is it worst? Mm -hmm. We'll start away from that area, okay? Let's start in the left lower quadrant. Okay. A bit of pressure here. Good. Once more. Okay. No discomfort? We'll do left upper. Mm -hmm. Okay. We'll go epigastric now. That's right around the belly button, or upwards towards the diaphragm, the spaces in between here. Kind of just working my way along here. No tenderness there? Good. We'll go inferior to the umbilicus now, towards the bladder area. Any discomfort there? Okay. Now we'll go right upper quadrant. Just pressing in here. Mm -hmm. And right lower. Good, good, okay. I'm sorry that that's a little bit tender there. Uh, we're gonna do some special testing now, okay? I'm going to measure out from your hip bone to your umbilicus here. And right about here, I'm gonna push in. I'd like you to let me know if it hurts more when I press down or when I let go. Which would you say is worse? When I, okay, okay. We're going to check in the right upper quadrant now, okay? You're gonna feel pressure here from my hands, of hooking under the rib cage a bit, and now I'd like you to take a deep breath in. Good, no difficulty. 
It's a little uncomfortable. Okay. 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 Now, would it be okay with you if I started by testing timpani in your abdomen? This will be with percussion. I'll gently tap on my fingers and see what type of a sound I hear from all of these areas. Okay, excellent. I'll get started. Let's start here. right upper and lower quadrants do sound normal. Let me come to the other side. Okay. Let's start in the left upper here. Okay. Left lower. Any discomfort during this? Okay. Once more. discomfort during that. Excellent. Okay, we'll now move on to palpation, okay? Palpation will go light to deep. So, if it's okay with you, I'd like to start out. And you said you're most tender in that right upper quadrant area, so what I'd like to do is start away from that in the left lower quadrant. Okay, excellent. So I'll start nice and gentle here. And just a little pressure now. Okay. Is that uncomfortable at all? Good. Excellent. Okay. And I'll come to the left upper area now. Any tenderness in this quadrant as I press down? Okay. Good. Now we'll come to the right lower quadrant and press down. Okay. Any tenderness there? Okay. Now let's do the right upper quadrant. Uh -huh. It is a little tender. Okay, I'm sorry. We won't do that again. I'd like to press in the center now. We call this the epigastric area. This is the upper center. Patients will sometimes have tenderness here if they have reflux or GERD, which is just an overproduction of acid in the stomach, often worsened by a weak lower esophageal muscle, allowing the acid to come back up into our esophagus. And let me check in the periumbilical area now. Okay. And no tenderness there? Excellent. So, what I would like to do now is assess for any pulsating masses. I don't think that's what's going on today, but I'd like to make sure that your aorta does not feel abnormal. This will require a little bit of deep pressure right in the center near your belly button, just off to the left side. Would that be okay? Excellent. Take a deep breath in for me. Good. Slowly let that out. Feel that pressure there. Good. Okay. Another deep breath in for me. Slowly let that out. Good. Good. Any discomfort at all? I'm glad to hear that. This shouldn't be painful. Okay. I can feel your aorta, and it does feel normal to me, which is good. Very good. Okay. What I'd like to do next are some of the special tests. Now, these are a little bit different. The first one has a funny name. It's called McBurney's Point. McBurney's Point can evaluate for appendicitis, which normally we would see in the right lower quadrant. Now, I know you didn't have tenderness, but I'd like to be thorough. Is that okay? Excellent. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and press in here. A bit firm. 
Now I'm going to let go quickly. I'll do it one more time. Press in firm and let go quickly. Did you have any discomfort? No. Okay, we would be concerned if you had more discomfort when I let go than when I pressed down. I'm going to check a Murphy's sign now. This will be checking your gallbladder, okay? I'm going to palpate the edge of your ribs here. Good. Okay, that's the ribs. And I'll just hook my fingers gently here and have you take a deep breath in. Good. One more deep breath. Excellent. And that didn't cause you any discomfort. Oh, it was a little tender. I'm sorry about that. Well, it wasn't a grossly positive test. A positive test is actually when the patient stops breathing temporarily due to the pain when they take a deep breath in. Lastly, I'd like to just test the sensation with the cotton wisp. I'll just pull this apart here. It's light and fluffy, which makes it a good marker for a light sensation. We'll test right here first. Can you feel that? Excellent. How about here? Good. Up here? seems normal to me. You can hear a change in resonance here compared to the gas patterns that we hear up in the right upper quadrant, left upper quadrant. There's a large difference in noise there. We'll take a look with ultrasound in a minute, but first we'll do some palpation. Light to deep. Do you have any pain there? Mm -mm. Do you have any pain here? No. Nope. Do you have any pain here? No. Nope. Do you have any pain here? No. Nope. Anything in the center? No. Nope. Anything up high? No. Nope. Okay. This patient's not having any pain. To round this out, we're going to perform some special tests here. The first test we're going to perform is the McBurney's point. We're going to measure out the distance here, press in, and release quickly. The patient has no pain from that, so there's no rebound tenderness in that area. That will be suggestive of a possible appendicitis. What we'll do now is hook in and palpate the liver. Have the patient please take a deep breath. And out. That's a classic Murphy's test. A positive Murphy's sign would have been him stopping his inspiration due to the pain there. It could indicate some type of pathology with the gallbladder. Obviously that was comfortable for him and didn't bother him. Go ahead and start up at the top here. Let me know where you feel this. Good, exactly. And now? That's correct. Okay, just below your eyes here. Which side is that? Good, you got those. And down here on your chin. Excellent.
right. The bottom was two at once. Now, let me know where you feel this. Very good. Correct. Good. Okay. You feel that? How did that feel? Good. Go ahead and bite down for me. Good. But good muscle belly size. And we'll check on this side here. Bite down again. Okay. Good. So muscle belly sizes appear to be approximately equal. I'll just have you bite down one more time. Go ahead and bite down. Next, we'll check that temporalis. Temporalis is up on the top of your head, so we'll need you to bite down again. Good. Bite down. Good, okay. That all feels symmetric to me, which is good. I'm gonna place my hands on the sides of your head so that we're not moving anywhere. Gently put pressure on my left hand by looking with your eyes to the left. Just like that. Good. And now towards the right, like that. Good. Once more towards the left over here. Good. And the right. Excellent. I'm going to check now for your ability to shrug your shoulders. I'm going to stand up for this so that I can feel equal pressure on both sides. Is that okay? Okay, very good. Go ahead and shrug your shoulders up. Good, relax. Shrug your shoulders up again. Relax. Excellent. That was all very normal. I'm going to check on the neck now for any tenderness in the back. And just let me know if anything's tender here. No, okay, good. Good, and we'll just feel for any of those lymph nodes underneath the neck here. Good. And down under the collarbone. Very good. And what we'll have you do is just turn your head slightly to the side and swallow. Good. And that thyroid feels normal. We'll turn to the other side and swallow. Very good. Back to the center. Okay. Excellent. Okay. Yes, with your eyes closed, let me know where you feel me touching. Good. Excellent. That's correct. How about here? And here. Here and here. Good. Here and here. Excellent. And can you bite down? Good. And bite down again? Very good. Okay, I'll have you bite down just one more time. Good. What I'm going to do next is called percussion. You'll hear some tympanic noises. Very good. And now I'm just going to palpate light, light to deep. Is that okay? Okay. 
There's some light pressure getting deeper. Good. And of course, let me know if anything is painful or tender here. Okay. Good. A couple special tests. I'm going to press in here and let go quickly. Any pain when I let go? Okay, very good. And here, I'll have you take a deep breath in. Good. No discomfort with that? Okay. We'll reach onto your flank here. A little pressure. Any pain there? No. Okay. And on this side? Okay. Very good. Excellent. Okay. I think your abdominal exam is entirely normal. Now, nice and relaxed here. Good. Good. And we can see the quadriceps tense up here. As that's the quadriceps tendon here. Good. We see that on both sides. And of course we could check the Achilles as well, but since you're not having any complaints, I don't think we need to do that today. I'm going to check your head again here. And I'm just going to feel for any pain or tenderness. Anything bothering you there? Okay, very good. Okay, and now I'll have you bite down again. Good, and bite down. Good. I'll have you bite one more time, and with your teeth showing. Good, okay. And once more. Good, I'm going to feel on your neck here. Bite again. Okay. As always, if this helped, please be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Turn on those notifications so you don't miss your appointment next week. Be sure to bring lots of questions. We can address whatever comes up and we'll reevaluate how you're feeling. Thank you again for coming in, and we'll see you next week.